you can't just sit back in Cadillac. You got to go spread that gospel. Welcome back to Study with Grace, a Bible study of biblical truth. Remember, this is class, not church. Podcast. Why you ain't sharing the gospel like you supposed to? Ah, oh, we ain't doing that. <laughs> Yo, we taking that up out of here because I'm definitely sharing the gospel. You say you a man, but you a coward. You say you a man, but you don't want to share the gospel when it's time. You say you a man, but you don't love, bro. Now, but but you edify the slave books. You edify all these, the translated slaves. Where you there to witness it? Matter of fact, the world, when we think you. we've done something good, <laughs> yeah, it's really filthy. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> think we're just out here just doing good? No, and we're, we're not. not. You can you you can you can play around if you want to and say, well. Uh, it ain't uh, uh, it distinct personalities in the Bible. But, <laughs> well, that's all you don't Sound just like them. Yeah, yeah, you can go ahead and believe in vain. So, I'm a, I, uh, hey, well, yeah, well, I'm gonna pray that the ancestors work, work in your favor, man. I'm gonna pray tonight. And I said, I will now. Nah, don't, don't pray for me. Welcome to Study with Grace. This is Class Not Church Podcast, and we got Jerry with us today. And uh, you know, we're gonna talk about salvation and I. Now Jerry don't know come me. Come on, he know me but 30 minutes, and I ain't known him but 30 minutes. But some questions I want to ask, cause I want to ask men today. I want to see how do men respond to the truth of the gospel, and I want to kind of bag Jerry down in a corner. And I want yeah. to. <laughs> yeah. See, I, I asked you before we went out. Hey, you're not gonna back me into a corner here on this thing, are you? <laughs> I've known him 30 minutes. So I knew he was gonna do it. Jerry, now. I ain't gonna take too much of your time, but I really need to know this, bro. Seriously. Oh, what is salvation to you? What does that mean? What does having salvation to you, what does that mean? Uh, yes, hmm. yeah, nobody's ever actually asked me to define the word salvation. Uh huh. But uh, yeah. salvation, we'll say somebody comes along and saves you. That's your salvation. That's the short version of it, but uh, in a greater sense, uh, God Almighty, God the Father, sent His Son, Jesus Christ, uh -huh. to come save us from ourselves. Right. From our sins, from everything we've ever done wrong. Right. Uh, that is the, the greater sense of salvation. That is the, the greater meaning of the word. Right. Oh, Jerry, people today, especially men, since we're the leaders, you know what I mean? Like, we the males, like, we the leaders of. Uh, man, kind of humanity. Uh, why we don't, as men, in your opinion, the, the, where I'm from, when I see, I don't see this a lot. So if this is my opinion, it might be different from you. They are from different places. We are from different places. You from East Texas, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm from deep East Texas. I grew up six miles from Texas town, and uh, Texas town is about two thousand people. From what I understand, you're from the east side of Dallas. Right, right. That's right. That's right. I'm from east of Dallas, not the east side. I'm yeah. from east, you know, like three and a half hours east of Dallas. Uh, <laughs> why, why isn't men today? Why, why aren't we motivated to? Why are we so traditious when it comes to? sharing the salvational gospel of Jesus Christ. Why, why are we so fearful? What's holding us back? Well, I wish I could answer you. But I, there are two reasons, I think. Because I can't tell you what's wrong with every man in this world. Okay. But for a second, you use the word tradacious. I don't know what that means. Fear, like fearful, fear. You use it some $10 work. Uh, but we don't, dear, we don't, we don't push the truth of Jesus Christ amongst men and women. Well, we, we, we all know that we're guilty, right? We all have told the lie before, so we all are liars. Ain't none of us not a liar. We all have lied before. Yes, sir. And, and we know that no liar would inherit the kingdom of God. We know that. <laughs> and you said earlier, you know, God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to save us from ourselves, from our sins. Right? Yes, sir. So, why are we going to tell the world this? I mean, do you see men round back, round your town do that? Oh. Well, it depends on the feather. It really does. Yeah. Well, soon, so we talk about God and talk about Jesus and talk about salvation quite a bit. No. Others, not so much. But I will say, wait a second. It does no good to speak the truth if you know it's going to fall on deaf ears. Mm, what do you mean by that? What do you mean? That? Cut this. If you, uh, 
If you tell somebody, for example, if they're thirsty and you tell them there's water over yonder, but you, uh, right, if they're not gonna listen to you, it doesn't do any good for you to tell them. So let me ask you this to you, because I gotta put you in the corner now. Right, let's hear it. So since we know that there's a strong possibility that they will not listen to us, does that omit us from still telling them the truth? Hey man, even though you might want to drink the water over there, there's water. You know? So, we can tell them, but I guess it's uh, up to them whether they listen or not. I think, I think, uh, Jared, man, because you and I, we're in the same generation. We millennials, right? Yeah, I guess technically. I'm a little more old school. <laughs> and so, our generation, you know, we, I don't know if you have children or not, but we're the parents of these young boys and girls out here today. Right? You were a parent, I have not been blessed in <laughs> Well, I think it's so important that we, uh, as men, we're in our prime. Like, we're the prime males today. Yes. Right? We're the prime male. We're not 20 year old boys, we ain't 55, 60 year old men. Right? Hey, we're, we're prime age. We are the working age men. That's right. We're, we're not coming into age and we're not retiring age. That's right. <laughs> so, You're right. You nailed it. I, I think, I think, Jerry, man, you know, just for the sake of the gospel of Jesus Christ's death, burial, and resurrection, I think, man, we need to get out here and, 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 and really <laughs> preach that truth, man. Because the gospel will, will it, it has the power to change lives. It, it has the power to unite brothers like you and I. You see what I'm saying? It has the power to do a lot of things that that typically most men will just ignore. You know? Oh. Um, it's a shame. It is a shame. Now you're a good dude, bro. <laughs> I tell you, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. It's okay. Sometimes I want to take that horse by the neck and just throw him in the, in the lake. <laughs> and then he got two choices. He better drink or he gonna drown. <laughs> he got two choices. Come here, horse, and I'll stick him in the, in the lake, back back and drink, you know? <laughs> I've never heard it put quite that way. Yeah, yeah. that's what my mama said. My mama told me that. Uh, I've never thrown a horse in a lake because it wasn't quite big enough to pick the horse. <laughs> I have literally grabbed a horse and shoved his head in the water and he still wouldn't drink. You can't make him. You can't make him drink. He's going to do one. He's going to so, Yeah. All you can do, I guess, as far as sharing the gospel is you can show somebody the love of God. <laughs> And if they ask, why do you do that? Then you can tell them. Why? You need to show them the love first. How do you do that? How do you show them the love? The biggest thing I can tell you is you help your community. If you want to share the gospel in your community, uh -huh. this is where a lot of churches have started soup kitchens, clothes clubs. Uh -huh. They help the needs. And this is also, if you know your Bible, right. and I expect the Christian should. Uh -huh. Jesus fed the masses with his fish and bread. He didn't never look to Peter, but he shared everything we could possibly get his hands in. That's right. And he didn't say, no, you've got to be a Christian or you've got to listen right. to me preach first. That's right. He fed him. Yes, he did. First. Yeah. And then he shared the gospel. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Meet the needs, show the love of God. Man, that's crazy. I never really looked at it like that. Man, he fed 5,000 folks. And, and all them people, he didn't care about nothing. He didn't care about their ethnicity. He didn't care about their age. He didn't care about male and female. He took a little bit of something, and like you said, just shared it with everybody. And, and it didn't matter if they heard a preacher or not. Whoever happened to be there. Right, everybody that was there ate and ate well. They ate too much. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't had a ton of leftovers. <laughs> oh, what is it, tw 12? Yeah. It was 12 baskets? 12 baskets, yeah, something like that. You in the area. I don't know the story by memory, but well, you, you, did the, you did the numbers better than me. You said he fed five thousand. Yeah, I can't quote you the numbers. <laughs> hey, but he was all he was all he was all the money with it. Um, I, I think I'm gonna take that approach, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna start being more active in my community, not just my community, but I'm gonna go to other communities too. You know what I mean? Like you know, go to less fortunate and also go to people that are more fortunate than myself, and and really, really, really. Be you know, be a a, a giver, a giver. Then not you know, not just you know to my family, but you know in our community, you know, you gotta get your family, you know, get take you know. But I want to do more than just my wife and my children, you know, my circle. I mean, you really, you really, you really um, did something to me right now. You don't even know it. 
you know. I'm glad I could because a lot of people approach sharing the gospel like a sales job. Oh. The gospel is not a used car. Oh. Oh. Show the little first. Oh. Show, show, show why it's good. Uh -huh. And then you can tell them about it. You can't just try to sell them. Right. They, they, they don't know you. Right. They don't know about your word. Right, the right. Un the unholy heart case comprehends your thanks. Right. <laughs> Jerry, I, I, I thank you for your time. I'm not going to have you long. I, I, I really appreciate it, man. Well, thank you for having me. Let's come over here to get dinner. And I said, wait, wait a second. Uh, what, are, what are these guys doing? Are they sitting up and playing live music? You said, what's a podcast? You want to talk to us? I, I didn't hardly know how to take that. <laughs> Yeah. Anybody watching this, that's literally how this happened. Exactly. I showed up and said, well, I see a whole bunch of tripods sitting up. What are y'all doing? Oh, uh, you was, do you got a do you got YouTube? Yeah, uh, Jared Sterrett on YouTube or Jared Sterrett and the Hired Guns. Spell it, spell it for me. Okay. First of all, we're not just on YouTube. Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, and then uh -huh. I have five piece Texas Country. Okay. And, uh, but on my YouTube, I have JDS029. But also, if you're gonna look me up anywhere else, it's J A R R O D S T E R R E T T. Jared Sterrett. Jared, thank you, man. We have a lot of followers. Man. Uh, people subscribe to our channel, all of yours, and you know, outside of the country. So uh, we make sure, we make sure. Put your information in. I really appreciate the time you took out from your family, from your dinner, to uh, to really show us love. You know, I appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Blue. And uh, I will say, I hope God uses this podcast. That's why I took to him out of it. You said, you want to talk about these? He said, well, this could go I'm not really good or really bad. It's a, a lot of pressure to represent the kingdom of God. Right. You can ask me these kinds of questions. <laughs> Viewers, remember this is class, this is not church. Ah, kids.